Hey guys, I have a new study Bible to review for you guys. Um, this is from Hendrickson Bibles. This is the Fire Bible. Um, it was formerly the Full Life Bible, and then it became the Life in the Spirit Bible, and now it's the Fire Bible. I believe you can pick up the other editions of it before it changed to the Fire Bible, or if they make both of them. They're out there if you look for them. Um, Full Life Bible is no longer in print, um, but I think you can find the... Um, Life in the Spirit one out there. Now this, I asked for a um, genuine leather for the review, and when I got this, I thought it was a genuine leather. The box even says, um, I'm really puzzled by this, guys, because it does say genuine leather on the box, and the number is 4855 on the end there. Um, I, I looked it up, and everywhere I look it up, it's the same number, the 4855, and the only black that they carry is that one that one the other one's like a half um like raspberry and then brown um the leather touch what this is is just the basic leather imitation leather stuff this card cardboard stuff um that ends up rubbing off like this and i'll show you because i this channel's really um i try to you know kind of be more of a design, Bible design. I want a Bible to last you. Um, but doing these study Bibles is different because they're so full of um, commentary and things like that. So I try to find a good stitch sewing, um, sewn Bible, um, Smith sewn Bible, which this is. It's a good sewn Bible. It's not going to fall apart on you. And it's an awesome study Bible. So um, I just want to show that if you do order this black one, I'm going to get a hold of them and find out if, if this is what they're calling genuine leather. This is not here, guys. This has already happened. I've only had it for, I think, a week now and just been reading it a little bit during the night and everything. Um, kind of studying out of it, getting used to it because I don't have this. I've never had this Bible before. And it's already doing the, the peeling thing, which is common, but usually not so quick. Um, this thing almost instantly started peeling around all the edges. So if you order a genuine leather, which I think it's $67 right now at Christian Book and in other places I've seen it for like 70 79 something like that. And then the leather touch ones are 40 something dollars, which that's what this one is. Um, I'm super puzzled by it, and I'm going to try to get an answer because I don't want people to buy a genuine leather Bible and then receive this um, at that price, at that cost, because this is a leather touch one, which they sell for 40 bucks. So it does have the um, liner, uh, the vinyl liner, instead of like the Spirit Filled Life Bible that I got from Nelson, um, which is an awesome, comfortable Bible. I love it, but it tore a little bit at each corner because of the paper liner that it has inside. So be sure if you get this one to know that it's gonna end up doing that probably on you. Um, but it hasn't spread um, since that started happening. It only went up like a quarter of an inch. When you get these vinyl liners, they don't split. They last for many, many years. Like this um, old NI, or NLT Bible I have, it, it's been through all kinds of bad treatment. I mean, it's, it's worn, it's been used a lot, guys, but yeah, it's still attached. It's not falling apart there, so. Um, I really like to see the, the vinyl instead of the paper. It has that going for it. It is flexible, um, but just be aware of that, guys. Uh, until I find out, um, just know that if you buy it, the black one might come not as a genuine leather Bible, as this um, paper stuff that they put like a leather leather stuff on there or whatever that is. Um, you get a uh, plain presentation page, which is cool. I like it just to be nice and simple. Now. The, the Bible is different than, I've heard a lot of people compare this to the Spirit-Filled Life Bible. They're, they're not the same at all, other than they come from a Pentecostal um, background of the Spirit-Filled Life, you know, the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. This Bible is mainly a very deep, in-depth commentary Bible. Um, it was done by, um, his name is uh, Donald C. Stamps. He passed away in 1991, so it gives a dedication. Um, these are the names and the contributors of the Bible, the editorial staff. Um, and then here's all your dates and stuff. This is the ESV translation. It is line matched where it can be, and um, it's 10 point font. As you can see down here, the Flexi Soft. That's what this is. It's a Flexi Soft black, but I cannot find that. All I see is genuine leather, so I'm a bit puzzled. And, but we'll just go into the, the studies of the Bible and you can get it in one of the different colors until I can find that out for you unless you don't care and you want to get this black one but um, at that price I would I would like to see it be the genuine leather that it's saying that it is so I'm sure there's some kind of mix-up going on 
but um, I'll find out for you guys. The contents in this Bible are great. This is one of the, my most favorite things in it. The contents and articles that you find throughout the text are amazing. I think I counted them to be like 80 something, 88 maybe, um, of just awesome little, uh, well not little, but they're, you'll see them throughout here. Some really good charts on very important subjects and they're really good for Bible study because they're loaded full of verses. Um, I really like his commentary. I think it's great. Um, there are a few things that I disagree with, but that's, you know, with any study Bible. And if you're not a Pentecostal, um, don't don't make that uh, cause you to not get this Bible. It's a great Bible. Um, you can look past the things that you don't agree with because I think um, most of the teachings in this are just flat out what you would trust. Um, a good, solid Christian um, teacher to... Uh, be teaching in his commentary. I think it's great. So you see the abbreviations here. You get God's plan of salvation. Um, one of the main teachings in this, you get the preface to the ESV, is their theme finder thing. Here's the author's preface. So you get in um, before he passed away. They had to get all his notes and stuff. Um, the Bible, he didn't get to see this as a finished product. So um, it's really awesome that um, he's with the Lord now, and it's sad that he's gone for his family and stuff, but his teachings are blessing so many Christians right now, and it's amazing. Um, as you can see here, this is the Fire Bible and how to use it. It will show you the studies if you want to pause your, your video. You can pause it. Go over this, the subject index, maps and illustrations, all the basic things you're going to find in a Bible, but then it has this theme finder. This is really cool. It's a lot like the Sword Bible um, in a sense that you have topics and then they list them with a symbol and then it's chain linked with a verse at the end of each line. So I'll show you that as we get through here. Now this is one of the, the articles that you're going to find. So you go right into Genesis and you can see how much um, commentary you're going to get in this Bible. It is loaded full of stuff. It is a great... I mean, the studies in this are awesome, and I love the charts. I'll let you guys see the font here. So you get a nice 10-point font, and it's line-matched with the ESV, which most of their, I think all of their friends, when they have another company, a publisher, do their Bibles, you're going to get line-matching with the ESV. But since it's a study Bible, it makes it kind of difficult to stay line-matched, um, so be aware of that. The print is a little bit small in these articles, so if that's something, um, you know, because it is a 10-point font, and then when you get to the articles, it gets down into that 6-point font area, I'd say, about a 6-point font. It's pretty small, but it is legible, and it has good spacing between each word. Um, I would have liked to have seen that a little bit more bigger. Maybe in the future they could larger that. I mean, it is already a big Bible, so I understand they're trying to keep the uh, thickness and the weight down on this Bible. And the paper is um, does not have, like, a high glossy shine to it. It's got no, like, covering. It's just that kind of matte finish kind of paper, very dry feeling. It is thin, but um, it's not too bad. You don't get, like, horrible ghosting with it. I mean, you guys can see what I'm seeing here, and it's showing it pretty well on camera. It doesn't have bad ghosting. The only place that I run into ghosting is in a few of the charts that are dark, like this one here. Um, and there's not very many of these ones where you get them really dark, like, uh, you know, charts and stuff here. It'll usually be just some maps and stuff that you'll see here on this page. It's showing through. It's not horrible, and it's just one page, and it only happens very uh, infrequently because it's super dark, and that don't really happen. It's mainly written charts that are just full of all kinds of good stuff. Um, as you'll see here, I've tried to put a marker um, at uh, major points in the Bible so you guys can kind of see what, what I'm talking about with the charts. Um, one thing I like a lot about the text is these bold chapter numbers and the way that they separate the text here. You can see it in the Psalms. It gives you kind of a good look of what the Psalms is going to look like for you guys. And then you get this chart on the Old Testament prophecies fulfilled by Christ, or in Christ, sorry. You can see quite a bit of information here, guys. Lots of verses and subject matter that you're going to be able to follow along and do Bible studies with. Really cool. That goes on for four pages there. And then you get into Proverbs here. We'll skip past that. I got a marker here for you guys. Now here, I have a lot of markers in the New Testament because I want to show you pretty much what the Bible is going to be throughout the whole thing. And for um, a lot of the Pentecostal beliefs are in that section of the New Testament. 
you see here, this is Malachi. This is the only thing that's in between the um, Old Testament and New Testament. So you just get this one page and some information on history, time periods, stuff like that. Let me jump over here. Actually, let's look into Matthew here. Um, now this is really going to show you guys the content of this Bible. Now the red is really nice. It's like a brick red color. So you're getting a nice brick colored red, not a bright pink or anything. I think it looks great. It, it's not the most saturated font um, to the naked eye. The camera will enhance it a bit, but um, it is nice. It's very easy to read. And as you can see, look how loaded his commentary is. I'll go up above here. You get like a couple verses and then you just get a ton of information. So um, he was a very learned brother in Christ. And when you read his notes, um, it's good stuff. And I think it's good meat for you. And if there's things that you do not, um, you know, possibly agree with, you know, spit out the bones, guys. It's the way it works. And you see here, you get a little bit of ghosting on this page with the red and the um, dark ink on the back side, but that doesn't happen a whole lot to where it shows up like that from what, I, from what I've seen by um, studying this week. It's only a couple pages here and there, so I can pretty much look past it. It's not an issue for me, but look at this, guys. You get the, um, I think this is the mount. Let's see here. Starts in chapter five. Yeah, it just goes on. You got the Sermon on the Mount and it just keeps going on. Look at all of the notes. I mean, it is crazy giving to the needy and just really good uh, titles for each chapter. So you can really find stuff easy. You get the, the uh, instead of taking the text into the gutter, you just get the reference system that's in the gutter. Um, really good reference system. And then the only thing I don't like about the design is that your page numbers are in the gutter. Um, that's one thing that I just uh, drives me nuts. I don't know why. The design team picked to do that so um, if they see this and hopefully if anybody says anything um, this gets really awesome reviews and stuff on uh, most places that I've seen um, written reviews people love this Bible guys it's a great study Bible um, but that design thing I haven't really seen anybody talk about you need to have those page numbers on the corner that makes it very kind of annoying to study especially for newborn Christians that are new to the Bible um, it's kind of difficult for them to get through the Bible that way. As you can see, you're going to get these red lines on the side, and that is your theme finder. So you will get a subject, which they do have indexed in the back, and I'm going to show you that when we get to the back end here of the Bible. Um, you follow a topic right here as you're reading along, and then the line will end, like with the Sword Bible, it will end with a verse that it tells you to go to next, and it chains a certain subject all throughout the Bible for you. So if you're wanting to get on that certain um, theme finder thing and path, it literally just goes right through from um, from A to Z. It's really, really neat. And I appreciate how it's done because it's simple. It's not difficult to follow. And um, I think for somebody new, um, you Pentecostal believers, if you have somebody new to your church, this is a great Bible to pick up for them. Um, it is just full of so much teachings. Um, I think it would be a great Bible for them to have to um, just dig into the Word. Now, this is one page that is heavily, heavily um, has some ghosting. So this is what I'm meaning with the ghosting because of the charts. Um, so you'll run into one page where it just gets kind of kind of difficult to read because of that little print that's in between and that shadow effect. Um, but do know that you're not going to get that a whole lot to where it comes through like this. Um, from what I can tell, it doesn't do that a whole lot. But here's a page on divine healing. Jump over here to the next marker for you folks that want to study on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I believe it starts here. Yeah, look at all these verses and topics all laid out for, for you guys to do Bible studies. And it's just awesome. It's loaded. You get all your topics broken down for you for each verse. And you guys all know that once you get there, it's going to lead you to other places. And it's just really cool. I really do dig that. Nice, nice stuff. Here we have Corinthians. We'll pass by this spot here in Corinthians where it talks about the gifts of the Spirit a lot. And what I like about here is his note here will kind of give you an idea um, that he truly is a believer in having order and balance in, in the church when it comes to speaking in tongues and the gifts of the Spirit being used in the church. So if that's important to you as a um, Pentecostal believer, um, 
you're, you're going to want to know that, that he is very solid in, in, in his teachings on that. And I really do appreciate to see that in the notes because sometimes that just gets skipped by. I've seen Bibles where they won't even go into this topic and that really um, bothers me. So I really like to see that. Lots, lots of references. Really dig that. But you're going to run into these theme finders everywhere so as you're reading. It doesn't interrupt your reading. You just kind of notice them and you'll be like, hey, cool, what is that? And you kind of just start following it around. It's really cool. So you get resurrection of the body here. There is so many charts, like I said, guys. 88. I think it's about 88. And it is just full, full of stuff. I have something written here. Yeah, same stuff here. Works of the Holy Spirit. So that'll be important to you guys show you what you have here. Now the print does get kind of small in these charts. Not these ones necessarily, but they're spread out pretty nice so it makes it easy to read, but it's those little charts that get kind of bothersome. And here we are in Ephesians. Now I wanted to go to Ephesians because it really shows the layout of this Bible. Um, after I looked at a lot of the books, I was like, you know what, Ephesians really shows how this Bible works. Um, you get your, well, there's an article before you come to, but um, you get the introduction to the book. You get a lot of background to the book, the survey, spiritual features, I mean, special features. Sorry, guys, lots of spiritual stuff going on. But, um, jump over to here, and I wanted to show you guys this, that almost all the books will end with a certain amount of note space, depending on the book. Um, so sometimes you might not get one, which is kind of a bummer, but it is really cool because, you know, 95% of the time you're going to get a page to write on. So what they did is they put notes here and your reading um, guide for wanting to read through each book. So it's quite a bit to write there. It's kind of neat to have that little note page there for you guys that like to do that. And then as you see, you get theme finders, but look at this, Ephesians, look at how much studies you're going to get through Ephesians. You get election and predestination, you get a lot of teachings on certain topics let me focus there sorry guys um now as you can see the ghosting it's not as bad in person so it, that ghosting that you're seeing take about you know i'd say about 10 to 20 percent away from what you're seeing and you'll you'll see the difference when you have it at home it's really not bad under the light it's actually pretty good these hd cameras just really enhance that shadow effect guys so be aware of that but as you can see, through just the book of Ephesians, which we know is not a big book, but it is full of so much content, and he really gets into his notes with this one, which I do appreciate. I love the book of Ephesians. But what's neat about this smaller book, um, you get another chart, uh, Ministry, Leadership, and Gifts for the Church. Um, that's really important. I, I think it's a subject that sometimes gets left out, and it, this is a huge chart on it. It just goes on and on, and look at all the verses you're getting. I mean, this brother did some studying, and I'm telling you, he has a lot of scripture references. This is an excellent tool for, for any Christian to put in your library. I'm adding this Bible to my list of favorite Bibles, study Bibles, which I have five, <laughs> Spirit-Filled Life, Open Bible, Thompson Chain. Um, but as for a study Bible, a life application, all of those greats that are out there, this one fits among the greats. It's up there in the top tier. I really do appreciate the layout. It's not too loud or showy, like the Spirit-Filled Bible can get kind of showy for people because it's got so much color. It can be distracting for some. So um, I, I appreciate that that isn't like that in this Bible. So um, if you're somebody that's like that, you will really appreciate this Bible. It's laid out in nice, simple, easy, easy on the eyes, very nice. They do a graying effect here for your, your references, which is nice. I like that. A little bit of artistic touch there, and it helps with the vision and looking at the little print. Um, uh, reader's Guide, and then you go into the Concordance. Um, actually, I need a backup for you guys in this that I wanted to show you. How did I do that? Anyways, you get the Topical Index. I'm trying to get these pages right. Sorry about that. And you're going to get Weights and Measures. And the subject index. So it is pretty cool that it's in that red print. So you get the nice black black text with red. And it's very easy to read. It's not it's not hard to read at all. It's a very bold font. Um, theme, theme finder. This is your index. Right? So if you're wanting to find, not only do you get the topics and stuff like that, 
here's your theme finder. So if these are the themes that you've hunt down and you want to just do a study directly on them, you can find exactly where they start and where they end and just follow it through the whole text. Really neat if you're going to have like a Bible study group um, with teens, stuff like that, um, new youth ministers, this would be a great study to start on one of these and just go through it um, each each service with your, with your uh, younger youth. I think that would be a great Bible for that. You can see it still goes on. And then you get your entire Bible in the year. And then the concordance is the ESV concordance. I'm not sure if this is their full concordance. I'm, it's not like ginormous. It's not huge. It's just a good solid concordance that you're going to find in, in these study Bibles because they need to keep that weight down. And there's already so much information in there, but it is a good solid concordance. And then here's your maps, which I believe these are Zondervan. There's 15 of them. And you get some really cool stuff. It looks really great. It's a solid Bible, guys. It's really nice. I just, I will find out about the cover for you and let you guys know about that. So anyways, guys, I will see you next time. That's a long video. God bless you, and we will see you on the next video. Take it easy.